Well. I don't know if it's working or not. Find out. Find out. Hello everybody, how's it going? So this is my first live after quite some time. So I have no clue. <laughs> I'm kind of watching it on my cell phone right now. seeing how it works and uh, it seems like it's uh, going pretty good let's turn this music down a little bit so you guys can hear my wonderful voice and we're going to turn off the ads so we don't have to listen to annoying broadcasters. So for those of you who have not followed my channel, and for those of you who don't know about my channel, this is Flash Basher Gaming. And uh, for the first time ever, I'm actually going live on Facebook. Usually, I just post recorded videos on YouTube, but uh, I'm starting to uh, get familiarized with how things are supposed to be done now, and uh, after doing some tweaking and upgrading, I can safely record onto Facebook, and uh, YouTube as well. Uh, we're just doing Facebook tonight, so I'm not posting anything onto YouTube. I already did a video today, YouTube. Um, you can go to YouTube and look up my first video of this series, Flash Basher Gaming. And uh, this is actually going to be part two here. We're going to do that 
here tonight. So this is the city that I've built. It is the city of Huntington, which is named after the town I live in right now. Just because I couldn't be creative and come up with my own town name. So we are going to build on this tonight. So... Check out and see how our traffic's doing. Yeah, there's one thing I forgot. There's a dead person there. Waiting on a hearse. It's going to be a while because I haven't put a graveyard in nor a hospital. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And we'll go ahead and put that right over in here. And I think over in here we'll put the graveyard. Looks like a nice place for a graveyard, don't you say? That's a little big. I'm gonna cut them houses down a little bit, but to do it. And we'll go ahead and put a little alley right here. A little around. Oh, we can't do a roundabout. Ain't too important. We'll put our cream crematorium right there plant some oak trees in here I like the oak trees they get pretty big about a year game time for them to get as bad about as big as these trees do all right so we got our uh, crematorium we've got our uh, graveyard um, of course it's complaining about not having the water and stuff it's some electricity on this. I don't know why it's crazy then. Okay, you're gonna have to give somewhere, buddy. All right, well, I can't put it there. It's gonna fight me. Of 
course. And make me do this. Kidding me, it still ain't connected. There we go. Alright, so we got that underway. That's a nice pretty poop water over here. <laughs> on here on this side You're back with Second Moon Radio, your second musical home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another hour of musical delight. Tonight we are doing a musical tour of Italia, mm -hmm. land of art and culture. <laughs> que bon, as they say. And an aria inspired by the infamous Vivaldi shall be our guide. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. Okay. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all. Shut up. I have ads off, so I don't know why it's playing ads. So the ad button on there does not work. So this is what we've got so far. This, come on now. This, this is the lakefront. 
Um, lakefront right here. The only thing that kind of worries me is about uh, if it rains on this game, the water tends to rise during rainstorms and it lowers. So the scientific method of the weather phenomenon is like realistic. And uh, I turn disasters off on this map because if I had a tsunami come in here, Oof, we'd be in trouble. So this is going to be my industrial area, as you can see. And uh, I, I have it close to the residential because I'm thinking about what the citizens take time of travel. I don't want them to have to travel too, travel too far to work. And, uh, what in the world we got here? We have ourselves our first traffic jam. Holy shit, tards. What in the Sam Hill? Okay, I can see that being a problem here. So this is why I'm not a city planner. This is why I don't work for the highway department of transportation. Because this right here, I would get fired real quick. Holy shit, look at all that traffic. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to create ourselves an off-ramp here. And we will turn off our snapping tool. Get it right there by the tree. actually going to kill this house. Because <clears throat> I have a feeling that that's exactly where a lot of the traffic's probably going. <clears throat> And then what I'll do is one of these are going to get tore up here. I don't know. So let's Fix this real quick so we don't get no traffic jams through here. There we go. Actually, no. What is this person doing? Like, what in the world? Yeah, this is going to be a problem right here. I can tell already. Holy shit. Okay, let's do this. Let's use our brains, DJ. Let's think about this. So since we got 
majority of the traffic coming in here. I'm going to take put a highway right here. Going across. I'm not very good at this. I actually made that bigger than I wanted. Oh, I just thought of something. Let's make this look a little prettier. All right. There we go. That looks a lot better. That looks a little more professional. One thing is, I don't know why it, that does that. That don't make any sense to me. I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. All right, so we're going to hit unpause. That should help eliminate some traffic issues.
first we're going to put some residential in here. There we go. <clears throat> And of course, it wants more commercial. Always want more commercial. All right. So I've been, I've been keeping a track of my FPS, which is up here in the top left corner. For those of you who don't know what FPS is, it's 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 frames per second. It's how smoothly your game can run, and how it transitions from frames uh, during gameplay on your monitor. When the City Skylines 2 first came out, uh, on my older rig, the one I had before this one, the frames per second uh, was at 10 to 20 FPS, which if you ever drop below 30 FPS in a video game, you start seeing a lot of lag, screen flickering, and the latency timing is terrible. So if you're one of those that play Fortnite like I do, it just makes the game look unplayable. And you have to play it on the lowest graphic settings, which is nerve-wracking. But uh, since I got this newer rig, uh, to do what I wanted to do on streaming and stuff, I had to upgrade. So now I get, uh, let's see, about 60 frames per second now. So I've pretty much almost doubled to tripled. Um, but it, I can play my games a lot better now even on high graphics but i've got this set to medium because if i have this on high it, it's it sticks in the 40s which is still playable but the settings on here in medium is to me is just as good as high settings so we got our high school over here with our football field so we got the little neighborhood wrapped around it Uh, we got our medium density apartment buildings right here. Of course, you know the hospital we just built. Uh, this is going to be our main street at some point. This will eventually go to six lanes at some point down the future. Then a neighborhood. And then our lakefront. And then we have our industrial. Um, now we zoom out here. Um, got a lake up here. I want to utilize it. Maybe do a resort over here somewhere. But all this is going to be built in. All of this. So my skyscrapers and stuff are probably going to be going right in here this is where the main downtown will probably be up in here is where my industrial area is going to be because i'm going to have my ships coming in docking right along here i think i can do that there yes so the edge of the map is right here 
So all this will be terraformed to shape for an industrial park. So this is what I have got so far. Majority of this was built on my first video for part one, which is on YouTube. And then we're doing part two right now, live on Facebook. Let's see here. What's up, Justin? How's it going, buddy? I forgot I could turn my phone sideways and I can look at people chatting to me. Let's, um, one thing we got to focus on, um, uh, the most important thing when you're doing a city builder game is you have to give people what they want. And what's the most thing people like to do? They like to go out and do things. So, um, we're going to build us some parks here. Let's put a... We'll put us a park over here. We'll connect it to this road right here. And then what we'll do is we'll build us a little park. Well, maybe not a little park, but... Large city park. We'll put it. Oh, let's say right here. That looks good. And then let's do. Uh. Let's do some sport things here. Um. Outdoor gym, we got a skate park, we got a basketball court. Let's squeeze a basketball court in there. And hey, guys might like to work out when they're playing basketball and stuff, so let's let's put that together. And then what we'll do too. We will add walking path. So the Sims are actually willing to walk. How am I going to do this one? I didn't think about this. Thing. Oh, here we go. We'll do it like this. There we go. Right along that property line. And then we will come right here. There we go. Awesome. What's up, Trevor? How's it going, buddy? Working today? Or are you one of the lucky ones having your hours cut? <clears throat> All right. So we have some more industrial demand. What we'll do is we'll zoom out here and we'll add in some more property line. Let's see here. 
probably take take these three right here that'll give me some starting point there and then what we'll do is we'll connect we'll uh connect our highway right here and continue it on our four lane And we'll go about there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go this way. Elevate it. Oh, a little too much. like we did up here we have this two lane highway we're going to put one over here too we're going to connect it right here I don't know why they do this. Who in their right mind crosses crosswalks right here? Like, seriously. So I'm going to take the crosswalks out. And then we're going to take the traffic lights out to where... These guys will be forced to yield. Alright. That don't even look right. Alright, let's hit pause. Let's fix this. This looks like shit. better than it looked.
we'll do is we'll connect. I want that work. Paint back and back on, so I ain't doing it. Now, usually, um, in a tutorial, they'll tell you that don't build your industrial park over this right here. But I'm not going to use groundwater, so I'm not. Have, I'm not going to worry about it. All my water that I'm using, that I'm pumping, is coming out of the ocean. It's not coming from the ground. So I'm not going to worry about it. So I won't have to worry about polluting. Alright, let's unpause this, see how this pops up. Um... Oh, I forgot something. Yep, pause again. Sorry, I gotta delete you. I forgot my on off ramps. On and off ramps for over here. Alright, there we go. All right. Now what we can do is we now have another section for s some more residential expansion that we can put right here. Um what we could do is we could expand this out this way um, and just focus on putting the low residential over here so we'll see how that looks let's speed this up a little bit fast forward this One thing uh, about Facebook Live, I will say this. Uh, I kind of wish that it would tell you how many people are actually still watching. Because I I see Justin and Trevor, you guys were in here, but I don't know if you're still in here or not. I don't know if you guys are still watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to future build this up for
try to slow that down. Looking good. Filling it in, that's for sure. <clears throat> So let's see here. So these are specialized housing. Um, they're like reward housing that you can build. And there, there's different, different sections for each one. And it's, it's basically just, uh, it helps spruce up your location a little bit and helps give the property value a boost. Um, cause you like, you have your rock musician mansion, uh, your film actor mansion and then painter mansion. Um, cause when you put these in a, in a zone, uh, it entices people to want to live close or nearby and it helps rocket the proper property values though. what we got so far let's uh before we call it a night let's put in some more residential and we'll go ahead and put uh we're gonna put some more residential in here Right, that's filling in. Uh oh, that road ain't connected. How he got fired? All right, let's fast forward this and see what that looks like now. Filling in pretty good. We've got ourselves see here just over just under twenty two hundred citizens. Things doing its job. Let's just take a look at the city. Let's admire the city.
All right, guys. So I think this is all I'm going to do today. I think this is all we're going to do for the live. So what we've done is we've created all this. We've uh, built around this high school. We've added in some more networking, some more future development. We've added on to our industrial park zone. And we've put in some more residential over here and over here. And we've added in a cemetery, a crematorium, uh, some re uh, leisure items like a park, basketball court, gymnasium, and of course our cemetery. So guys, thank you for watching. Whoever took a gander at the video, I appreciate the live. Uh, talk to you guys later. Thank you. And y'all. Y'all try to have a good one. I mean. <laughs> now if I can.